much for coming back to Defining Glamour. Uh, first thing I do want to say is thank you to you guys for bringing my channel up to a thousand subscribers. So thank you so much guys. I really do appreciate each and every one of you who who you know follow my, my channel regularly and for the kind of support and the positivity that you're giving not just on my YouTube channel but also on my social media. So thank you so much for that. Continue to make videos uh, some really really good videos for you guys that you actually want to see and um, get entertained by it and I find them helpful so um, each video that I do I do try to make it uh, better than before really really hope that you guys continue your support for Defining Glamour's YouTube channel a big thank you just uh, thank you to everybody who has been supporting my channel since the beginning and everybody who has just started to follow my channel you guys are amazing so thank you so much for the for the love and the positivity. So today's video is about the new liquid lipsticks that Smashbox recently came out with and I do believe that they added some more shades, um, some more colors to their to their collection for the season of spring which is super exciting. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the packaging, the price, the retail value, the pigmentation and all of that good stuff in this video. So if you want to go ahead and learn more about these Smashbox liquid lipsticks then please continue to watch this video. And before I get started in this video, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Hina and I do post videos every week. So if you would like to see more of me and my channel, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right over here to stay updated on my future videos. These are called Always On Liquid Lipsticks. These do retail for $28 at Sephora.com. This is how the packaging of these liquid lipsticks look like. So right over here it just says the name, what it is, and then has the shade at the bottom. The packaging, it does claim that it is an 8 hour power pout. So it doesn't just give you the, the matte finish on your lips, but it also gives you that, that pout that everybody loves. On the packaging, I'm just going to read out really quickly what it says. It says that this comfortable matte liquid lipstick was created in our LA photo studio to stay put all day on set. It claims that it doesn't feather, wear alone or under lipstick, and precision tip lines and fills. So that's what um, it says on the packaging, just on the side of it. The very first color that I got is called Big Spender, and this is how the little tube looks like. It's a really adorable tube. Uh, it's a pretty classic black case and then a clear acrylic bottom. And then just at the bottom right over here, it talks about the, the colors and then it has the name of the liquid lipstick. Uh, when you open this up, the brush, it's a pretty standard size brush. This is how the brush looks like. Um, so it has a little bit of a tilt to it so that if you can get the the nice um, precise line you put it on it just shapes up nicely to your outlines your lips really really nicely the very first color is the big spender uh, so it's a nice soft pink color so this is an, a very gorgeous pink color and it's perfect for the season so I mean that's how it looks like and these colors will actually look really really good on a medium skin tone uh, with a yellow or a beige undertone and um, that's the skin type that I have and these are the colors that I picked up. I was actually applying this on my lips. It felt really, really moisturizing and these are super, super pigmented. I had to smear after about, you know, four to five hours. So I didn't put them on for eight hours. So I can't really say if um, you can keep these on for eight hours. They give you a matte finish like any other, um, like any other liquid lipstick. However, these ones uh, don't feel super dry on your lips. The second color that I got for myself is called uh, Shockaholic. It's a beautiful bright pink color. It's again, it's another pop of color perfect for the season of summer. It's a gorgeous pink color. It's it's pretty bright. One thing that um, I was really bummed about on these liquid lipsticks is that they don't smell really really nice. What these smell like is like you know how you burn a metal and that the smell of that metal burning, I don't know if you guys have ever sensed or smelled something like that before, but that's how these liquid lipsticks uh, smell like. Once you're putting them on, the scent is, is really brutal. At least for me, I didn't find the smell really good. But once they're on your lips, you don't 
if you don't smell it. So it's not that strong, but while you're putting it on your lips, then you can you can smell the, the metal burning. Um, that's how this smell like. But otherwise, it's a really good lipstick. This color is probably one of my favorites that I got. It's a really nice bright pink color. Um, and again, you can just pair this up with a nice wing eyeliner and maybe a very super simple eye in it's gonna look amazing. The, the name of it is, is super nice. It goes with the color Shockaholic. So this is the second color that I grabbed. It's a beautiful bright pink color. Okay guys, so the third color that I got for myself is called Driver's Seat. And um, it's a beautiful, like a very nice soft neutral color. And so definitely an everyday color to wear. This is another color that I got and I love the name of it. It's called Driver's Seat, which is super cute. But another beautiful shade. Um, another thing that I do want to point out about these liquid lipsticks is what you see, the colors um, that you see online on the website. Um, these colors, they're actually not true in person. Um, they look more softer, more more of a very neutral light colors on the website but when you see them in person they're actually very nice and very bright the shade that i grabbed from sephora's website so another color that i grabbed that i really wanted to try out it was something new is called true grit it's a nice matte brown shade and i have not tried brown lipsticks before and it really just reminds me of the 90s i remember watching uh, when i started to watch uh, movies i would see some you know, actresses wearing some really like bold and dark brown lipsticks with a, a brown lip liner. So that's what it reminds me of. And I really wanted to try it out. It's something really new. It's very bold. It's it's a little different. So it's something out of your comfort zone if you're if you're somebody who likes wearing you know neutral colors and just very soft pinks. And then um, you might not like this color because this is how it looks like. But for me, I really wanted to try out something super different and I think this color besides the red is something really bold for me so that's why I got the brown color and I think it looks really really good um, with my uh, with my skin tone and it will look really nice on you too if you want to just go ahead and try something different, something new, then this color would be for you. So it's a nice brown shade, uh, there's no other undertone to it, it's a gorgeous gorgeous color to wear. Um, it's a very very bold color though, I completely agree. So that's another color that I grabbed. Okay guys, so the very last color is called Blast Off. And this one has a bit of a, like a coral undertone to it. So it's a beautiful pink color as well. But if you look at it in person as well as um, what I have on right now is this color. It doesn't look very very light to dark pink. But more of like a dusty rose color with a coral undertone to it. It's a beautiful, super pigmented color as well. It's a gorgeous color. And all of these colors, except for the brown, I would say will look amazing for the season. And if you're somebody who just likes to put on um, you know, pop of color and you don't have time for to do your eyes and everything, but you do like a flawless face. So just go ahead and do your foundation, your concealer, and your bronzer, highlighter, blush, and then a pop of color. So this is what these colors represent. Um, just on the go color, something to pop up, something to make you look really, really polished. And this is what this is for. And this is my last color that I grabbed from Sephora. That's it, guys. That was my mini review and uh, swatches for the new Smashbox liquid lipsticks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the swatches, the, the mini review, my opinions about it. I hope you guys um, like some of the colors and maybe want to grab some of these colors. Then they are super, super pigmented. I will highly, highly recommend uh, these lipsticks. They are amazing. And I like said, if you like Stila's formula pigmentation, then you are going to love the Smashbox uh, formula as well. It's super moisturizing, it's super pigmented, it is long wearing, again, not for 8 hours, I have not tried it for 8 hours, but yes, for about 4 to 5 hours, it's good. So let me know in the comments below which was your favorite color, you guys would be, um, you know, purchasing these uh, these liquid lipsticks or not. I'd love to hear what you guys think about these. And that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, please go ahead and follow me on my social media, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to see and know what's coming up next on my channel. And uh, you guys have a great week and I will talk to you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye!